Buy my CD. <laughs> This has been five yet, minutes yet. I really want to smash the fuck out of this CD. Can you play? Uh, can you play track number uh, number four? It's number it's, four? it's it's a it's a like a forty five second joke. Okay. I think I think the uh, audience will enjoy, it, especially the people. Track number four off Dave Odd's joke CD. There you go. I got a Wisconsin quarter in my change today, and I looked at it, and uh, I thought to myself, uh, Wisconsin, hmm, this is a pretty smart way to put your quarter together. This is what they decided to put on their statehood quarter. Uh, cow, wheel of cheese, ear of corn. Why don't you just go ahead and throw a fat woman in a Packers jacket on there, too, guys? <laughs> Round out all the stereotypes. It's cool, though, because uh, Iowa's going to follow suit, and they're going to uh, reissue their quarter. It's going to have a fist about to hit a woman with a Camaro on cinder blocks in a meth lab. So <laughs> that's nice, I think. That's the bid. I just had to quit my day job. Quit it. Jesus Christ. It was, uh, it was from a 50-minute set I did at Pressure back I like in the February. sound effects. No, that's the actual audience, in fact. Was that the Chicago Comedy Tour? Yes, was it was. Yeah, there was a huge audience at that show. Were you there? Were you there? I wasn't at the show, but I've seen pictures. Okay. It was absolutely Digital packed. delay on every audience member. <laughs> Double them up. Double them up for the live CD. You know what I noticed? We played that Dane Cook clip from Saturday Night Live. Matt he tells TV. those jokes Matt, about... Yeah. No, no, not that. Last week. Oh. Where he tells those negative jokes about negative people. Yeah. And in the clip, like, the laughter was immediate right after uh, the jokes. And I watched it. They reran it on Saturday Night Live, and, like, he didn't get any laughs. So they actually, like, added in and altered the laughs. You ever see da clip da I had. Dad Fan's comedy special on, uh, on Comedy Central was like that, where they, like, they would, you'd hear this uproarious applause, and they'd pan out to the audience, and everyone was just sitting on their hands with their arms folded. Really? And, yeah. And you could tell it was just piped in. The guy that did the audio on Matthew this writes in from Romeo saying, Dave, your joke sucked. Frankie from Canada writes in, holy fucking shit, David. I thought no comic could be this shitty. Hmm. Um, then Chris writes in saying, McGowan is the best co-host you've ever had. Great. And then Frankie writes in again, take photos of the smashing. You, you Has it can... been five minutes yet? You pay me 99 cents for the CD. You I'm not paying you. That's the point. It smashes. All right. Well, that's... If you're, if you're missing some wires or some of your DVDs over there... That's not going to happen. Sure it will. Sure it won't. You can't watch me every minute I'm here, Mike. Yes, I can! <laughs> you're not a pa uh, phantom. Remember last time we were here, I was talking about putting scorpions in a pumpkin, and you, yeah. and you're gonna and put you chastised me about that. I'm... You're going to put scorpions in my house. I'm, well, I'm just saying your bed is right over there. What is this, third grade? I'm going to put scorpions in your bed if you smash my CD. No, You're not, not coming to my birthday! Yeah. No, not the... Not the, the actual, yeah, yeah, I get a bed. Yeah. Well, then somebody's not uh, coming to my birthday at the Hard Rock. Yeah, dude, not, not the spot. You, you ever heard of Chuck E. Cheese? Well, yeah. you're never going to be there. Yeah. You know what I mean? I wasn't, uh, I wasn't talking about the yeah. insects. It was a, you like the, the actual, ball pit, don't you? The actual band, never the Scorpions, to... is in your bedroom right oh now. Oh, my God. You're actually getting less funny as he's, the weeks go he's by. He's doing it on purpose, man. He's funnier than this. I know he's funny. He's just trying as hard as he can to kill the show. Brendan knows I'm the funniest goddamn person uh, in the room right now. I don't, I don't think that's true at all. Actually, I can, I can say categorically I know that isn't true. Yeah, yeah. What did wait? What did what did you say that you know is not true? <laughs> that he's the funniest goddamn person in the room right now. That's what he said. And I know it's not true, but yeah, Brendan thinks he's the funniest. Yeah, and you have to. I guess. Would you I say? Would funniest. you say I'm at least the second funniest person in the room right now? Yeah. Oh, well, there you go. See, where's that put you, Mike? It's a two-way tie, dude. Yeah, where, where does this put me, Brendan? Holy shit. Come All on, right. Brendan. Right, I want to be second funniest. <laughs> Am I coming to your birthday? <laughs> yeah, I'm having a birthday party. Uh, we're, going to, uh, we're going to the goddamn uh, ball pit at McDonald's. You know what I mean? I wish they still had ball pits. Uh, yeah, man. They found a bunch of snakes in ball pits in North Carolina. They'd That's not true. It's completely fabricated. 
Uh, go to uh, go to uh, I forget what it's called, but if you Google in snakes in ball pits, this whole thing comes up about how it's like all made up and stuff. It's just some crazy like southern mother wanted to keep her kids out of the ball pits, so she made up this story about it. Snakes. I'm I'm a snake wrangler, if you will. There's no way a snake or a nest of snakes could wind up in a ball pit unless somebody specifically put one there. And why do you think somebody didn't? Because nobody would do that. Why wouldn't they? You're telling me you're going to put scorpions in my bed, yet nobody on the planet will put a snake in a ball pit, which would be hilarious. No, it wouldn't? It, yeah, well, if it was not a biting snake. A non-biting snake. Yeah, if it was just a regular nice snake. Garden snake. Or Could whatever. you imagine? I would, I would shit in my. Pants. Oh my god, I'd be that's, so scared. That's what they said. There's Even though I'm not shitting those balls. Dave, remember that but... time you tried to scare me with snakes? Yeah, and then you like failed because I wasn't scared of snakes. No, but you're of... all like, I never touched a snake before. <laughs> I uh, go to the bathroom at this comedy show, and Dave Odd's doing this snake bit. So he brings all his snakes to the comedy show. Let's just say Dave brings the snakes wherever he goes, okay? <laughs> yeah, that's how I, I do it. <laughs> Dave's got a bag of snakes with him at a comedy club. So I go to the bathroom and so I come it's back. a bar that does a comedy And club. on my laptop bag are a couple snakes. It was one. Oh, it was only one snake? It was snake? a single fox snake. That I was come and I pick up the snake and hand it to Dave and go, get your snakes off my bag. And he was so shocked... That I didn't scream. I wasn't really shocked. He really thought he had me on that one. If you're well, afraid of no, snakes, if you see one guy holding a snake, don't be afraid of snakes. No. Okay? He if there's be, a guy if holding it's a, poisonous a snake, snake, he wouldn't be fucking holding exactly. it. Exactly. At least not putting it in your face and trying to scare you with it. If somebody is holding like a snake and wrangling it in front of you, don't be afraid of the snake because it can't do anything to you. There were so many people at that comedy club afraid of the stupid snakes. I just wanted to scream at them. What show was this? It's at the underground. Tony yeah. wanted me to do something Dave, different. like, wrapped a snake around the mic stand and then left so that the host, this girl, had to come up. And she wouldn't go up on stage until he took the snake down. It's like, shut up. It's a snake. They, uh, they, uh, they, they tempt you. With apples and make you do bad things. So uh, it's the Bible's fault that, that people don't like snakes. Okay, we're smashing your CD now. Where do you want to do this? I only have a few of those left. So. I don't care. It's being smashed. It's the point. The more you tell me how you don't want it to be smashed, the more funny it is. All right, well, you have a book of matches over here and a couch. I don't leather. Care. Yeah, like you're going to light my couch on fire. Sure, Go for it, Dave. Dave now is pretending he's going to light the couch on fire. All right, I'm taking the CD. I need, like, a smash pad. I know you're not going to light my... Dave is, like, pretending he's going to light the couch on fire. He lit an entire book of matches. Do it, Dave. Do it, Dave. I'm gonna, I'm like, gonna... your record uh, is so clean that uh, your, the arson count that you're going to get after this isn't going to hurt your career. Well, well, we'll all be dead. Everyone in the building will be dead. No, we won't, Dave. All right, give me the doors right there, Dave. Dave is sitting here with a lit book of matches, pretending like he's going to really light my apartment on fire. So I'm taking this CD, and I'm going to just smash it right here. Hold on, I'm going to put a piece of paper over it so that the, sh the stuff doesn't fly. No, no shrapnel in my eyeball from Dave You want to do commentary on this? Yeah, I'll do commentary. Okay. All right. I'm going to put the mic up to the CD here. I got On my left-hand side, I got Dave Odd staring at a book yeah. of matches. Mike D hitting the uh, CD with a hammer right on his desk. I've got a, one of these small uh, yeah, panel a, nail hammers. Yeah, it's a really small hammer. All right, but, here we go. Should we, should we get a drum roll? Uh, Will that give it suspense? It's got a paper label on it, so it's not really going to make any cool noise or anything like that. Shut up. Here we go. Come on. All right. Here we go. Mike D, hammer in hand. Dave Odd, holding matches for no apparent reason. <laughs> yeah. Mike D, swinging the hammer. Oh, here it goes. He's smashing the... Oh, it's already snapped in half. That CD is dead, people. That CD is deader than Hasselhoff's domestic career. And Dave Odd's matches have gone out. Wow. Wow, that was, uh, that was dramatic. It's, uh... You hear that, Dave? Yeah, that's... Thousands of people would rather have your CD smashed than want to hear it and buy it. That's, uh... Thousands of people? 
Thousands. You mean like the the fourteen that post on your boards? That thousand. Shattered. We're gonna take a little break. We'll be right back. No, let's not take a break because then I'll have to sit here and talk to Dave about why I smashed this CD. Yeah. Let's just continue the show and throw pieces of the CD at Dave every time he does something stupid. These walls are carpeted. I don't care, Dave. You're not going to do anything to my house. Sure, Will. No, you won't. Why not? Why wouldn't I? Uh, because I don't think you would. Hmm. Someone's sending in a Dave... Oh, my God. Dave Odd needs to have this on his t-shirt, and it's a picture of the Pink Panther bursting out of a hole. I don't understand. Do you understand? You're I got laughing. nothing. I got You're no laughing. I, I'm laughing at how absurd it is. It doesn't Dave, make any put sense. the matches down. Dave Ott is like pretending that he's going to burn down the apartment. Like we're all worried. Like he's lighting another whole book of matches. He's lit, yeah, he's lit another Do you have a matches? camera on your phone that we could take pictures of this douchebag-ish moment? What is he lighting? Uh, he's lighting a magazine on fire. He it, is lighting an entire magazine on fire. The magazine ain't taken. It's the, not the, happening. The new sponsor. What are you going to do when that fucking goes up? It's not burning. I don't care. It's not my place. He just put it down. Well, uh, no, he's, he's, he's trying to figure out a way to burn this magazine, but it's just not doing it. Yeah. There we go. Now oh, it's now it's on fire. Dave Odd just lit a magazine on fire in protest of me smashing his CD. Holy crap, I'm getting a phone call. Shroom, your phone Shroom Talk, Mycology Magazine. Uh, check it out. Yeah, a, a um, new sponsor just sent in a magazine. I don't know. You, do you have any copies of this They're magazine? called Shroom Talk. I don't need the magazine. I don't care if you're burning it. If I cared, I would have stopped I mean, you by Hear that, sponsors? He doesn't care. He doesn't care that I'm burning your product. It's not their product. Well, what is it then? It's a magazine they sent me. Right. Do you think they're going to care if you burned their magazine? It it burns. It's cool. giving them a free plug. The paper that's made of is not very good for burning, Dave. That's oh, really God. bad for the environment. Now ashes have spilled onto Dave's lap. He's trying to figure out what to do with the matches. These are my new jeans, too. Oh, that's a shame. Are you done now, Dave? Not really. With your I'm going to burn down the apartment phase? The ashes everywhere now. Oh, because it's a pink panther. I get it. Oh, yeah. A the, panther. Uh, Why didn't we... Well, we were pretty pre preoccupied with Dave trying yeah. to set a magazine on fire for <laughs> no apparent reason. <laughs> oh, my God. What is going on? Holy shit. I'm going to set a mag of uh, a magazine on fire. So every time Dave says something stupid, now we're just going to throw a piece of his CD. Instead of pressing the sound effect buttons, which haven't done anything to him. We're going to throw pieces of his CD. Now he's taking like 100 matchbooks. What are you doing? What are, what are you doing? I'm just saying there's a lot of matches. Lot I of don't care. Uh, someone just wrote in using uh, redbarradio.com slash message sent. Uh, uh, Danny from Tucson says, Brendan, kick Dave's ass. Uh, you know, come on, guys. There's no reason. to. Yeah, there's no reason for violence. That's ridiculous. Okay. Let's get back to the to the business stuff. Let me make a nice pile of Dave's broken dream. Yeah, because I, I can't make more of those. I said uh, Man Cow actually uh, did that exact same thing, but it was some guy that said he had a bunch of uh, like plates from the Titanic, and he got all like in his face and said, oh, that's... Go so to the phones, call her on the show. Yeah. Oh, hey, how's it going? <laughs> hey, what's up? This is Tony. Hey, hey Tony. Tony. Hey, Brennan called me earlier, said that uh, I'd called, but it wasn't me that called, but I'm calling now because I'm curious about Dave trying to burn down the apartment. Oh, he just, he smashed one of my CDs to, like, because he thought it was, like, a, a real hilarious stunt. Like, it was outlandishly crazy. Oh, to, it was. To break a burned CD. I just want to say that I think it's, like, obviously a cry for help because Dave's a pretty smart guy, and if he really wanted to light something on fire, he would. So it's yeah. all pretty dramatic. Yeah, really smart people. They just, If they wanted to light something, any, what are you talking about? If anyone wanted to start something on fire, they would. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, something would be on fire. Like, it would happen. Yeah, I know. But you wouldn't just burn a magazine. That's some lame shit. <laughs> Dave is an idiot. What are you trying to prove? All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna set the carpet on fire now. No, you're not. I don't even I have. Where's the? <laughs> no, you're not. Whoa! That's he just exactly threw. That's why I called. He's throwing live. He's matches. throwing matches on the carpet and it's setting it on fire. 
Awesome. Raising the Brendan, you put those on, okay? Right. Davot is really throwing lit matches on the carpet now and trying to set the carpet on fire. He's making holes in like a $1,200 carpet. $1,200? I, I highly doubt Okay, it. it was like 200 from Target. 200 You spent $200 on anything in Target? Yes, Dave. All right. I didn't even know they carried stuff over $200. Like hey, well, TVs, maybe. I think carpeting is uh, totally like that up, that up the ante. That was good enough for me. Thanks, Tony. Thanks I for calling, Tony. Trying to start good, things on fire now. Good call, Tony. Good Thanks call. for the call, Tony. All right. No problem. Later. Yeah, so this is Dave's new thing. He's just going to try to light stuff on fire. Because I broke a CD that he didn't care about. Yeah, I'm getting a new one made up. That that the the audio on that one's not that great, and it's admittedly that the whole CD sound. It's like a six out of ten of what I'm capable of. We're just gonna sit here, yeah, until this is resolved. I am just gonna stew. We're yeah, stewing. That's what I do. That's what all people uh, who've lived in Chicago for a long time do. Oh, yeah. We you, stew in things, yeah. especially men. There's a goddamn hair on this microphone I cannot get off. Yeah. It's ridiculous. Oh, that's really happening. That's real. I thought that was some kind of... Uh, no, I'm not trying to make a tangent. There's a fucking hair on this thing, and it's really creeping me out. I might get mouth lice or some shit. I don't know what you've been doing with these microphones. There's like a hair sticking out of the foam screen? Yeah. Uh, fucking Jesus, man. Just don't use the phone screen. Well, I thought I had to. Ooh, that sounds a lot better. Oh, you yeah. You know what? These cheap phone screens really color the sound. Oh, yeah. Now you sound good. This is the real Brendan McGowan. How do you do, Red Bar Nation? I like that. You're beautiful. I love every one of you. All right. Can we move on without everybody being mad at each other? I'm not mad at anybody. I'm not mad at anybody. Oh, somebody writes in now. I think the antagonism makes it fun. Good to have a villain once in a while. See? I'm, a, I'm an evil, evil fucking villain. That's what I am. That's why I'm here, man. I didn't say you take your pop cover off. You know what? I took it off and fuck you. What are you going to do? Huh? I'll set it on fire right in front of you. No, you won't. Yeah, I will. How much does this cost? About a dollar? No. Those are like $24. $24. Yeah. So how about I burn this? Burn it. See what happens to you. And, uh, and then... See what happens I'm going to burn the microphone... People write in on uh, redbar.com slash messages or whatnot, and uh, let me know if you want me to burn this microphone cover right now. You're going to want to go to redbarradio.com slash messages, by the way. Yeah, redbarradio.com slash messages. Or you can go to daveodd.com, uh, and you can see where I'm performing at. You can also link to my uh, uh For those of you who are in the... You group. don't tell, tell the Red Bar fans that you're going to burn... Studio equipment yeah, that is you, used to do the show. You smash and my, then plug you, your website. You smashed my CD though, so I owe you one. Because your CD stinks. That microphone has done nothing but be uh, helpful to the show, uh, except for when you're in front of it. All right, everybody, Red Bar Radio Show. Hopefully, somebody is recording this now. Uh, we're having some recording problems. I've been having computer problems all. All week. Yeah, you were having some problems the other uh, the other night when I was on the I, show. I've installed a virus on your computer. <laughs> With the, you don't uh, even know how to do that. That's the, the funny thing. The CD you've that, installed a virus into this show. The CD that you put in uh, had a virus embedded in it. And uh, now that you... And it went through the audio cables, Dave? Yes. Okay. And it actually had a, a legitimate actual hantavirus in the actual plastic. And when you smashed it, you now have contracted hantavirus. You're a social virus. <laughs> oh my god you you i mean brendan mcgowan always has a great time on the show i don't want to like blow your spot but look at his fucking attitude yeah because of you because he's not getting uh he's not getting berated every 15 seconds i'm saying look at his attitude it's not the usual well he's yeah. kind of pissed because Who's, who is getting berated every 15 seconds dave uh that would that would be me are you serious with that your, your dog, I mean, he your is. Your dog is barking. But, but, uh, barking? Barking. Yeah, that's Ignore the word. That's, it. The word, that's the word you're looking for, yeah. barking. Um, yeah. I'm trying to have a fun show. Uh, well, let's We're do We're trying this, to man. talk about file sharing. Let's do this for real. Let's try hey, this Are we ever going to do that, uh, the Red Bar sh uh, live shows at... Uh, you know what, Dave? I don't fucking understand what is going through your head. I just brought up file sharing. Okay. And then you go, oh, are we ever going to do the Red Bar 
whatever. Mm-hmm. How does that relate to what we're talking about here? It doesn't. That's just what I'm thinking about right now. Exactly. And who said to say whatever's on your mind? Uh, me. You did. Yes. You smash my CD, I can do whatever I want now. No, you can't. Sure You're can. a petty, petty human being. And it's uh, I smashed your CD for entertainment va- value. What yeah. you're doing now is decreasing entertainment value. I'll be in St. Louis next next week right. at the comedy forum. Now his mic is off. So file sharing. You yeah. can still hear me in other people's mics. 20 billion songs downloading here. worldwide. You can call do you want to physically you want take him out of the here. studio with me? Not is that really. what we're going to? Well, Not we're going to really. have to. He can't just sit here and yell. Sure can. Dude. <laughs> I don't want it to come to, like, having to really kick you off the show. I really don't want it to have to come to that. (coughs) So file sharing. 20 billion songs were downloaded illegally. Yes, let's try to force getting back into this conversation. Yeah, no, I'm in. No, I know. I'm on board. It's very hard to get back into it after a screaming 30-year-old man. Whatever. Okay. Now he's lighting stuff on fire again, and probably almost in tears. Oh, my God. File sharing. What's going on there? How can you continue file sharing discussion with Davod lighting lighting more stuff on fire? Ah, Jesus Christ, man. He's just lighting stuff on around the studio on fire. There's nothing wrong with that. What are you lighting? What is that? I was gonna. It was oh, the, it's your it's the program thing. notes. It's gonna light the program notes on fire. Good. <laughs> I'll be in uh, Saint Peter's. Saint. Uh, okay, so the industry filed eighteen thousand lawsuits in the United States. Eighteen thousand. Thirteen thousand in the rest of the world. Jesus. Criminal and civil suits, but it's only aimed at people who upload music to file sharing uh, programs. Well, I agree with that kind of. I don't know. I mean, it makes sense. If you're going to sue anyone, that's the people you should sue. Well, these are like mass uploaders, like yeah, yeah, people yeah. who like, you know, grab the CDs, they Thousands rip them, they songs. put them up. Yeah. I, I I can see the logic behind those people being the ones that are sued. I just, no one's going to stop. You know, no one's going to stop downloading these illegal files, man. Well, eventually I've said it. The internet's pretty fucking kick ass. Yes. It's not going to last. Anything that seems this awesome is going to be taken away, taxed, governed somehow. Yeah. Like, I guarantee in 10 years, the internet isn't going to be as cool as it, as it is now. No way. Like, getting porn whenever you want. No way. Or uh, typing in Jessica Alba, seeing pictures of her in bikinis whenever you want. There's no... I don't think that's going to... That's how it's going to be. There's no way, man. Uh, you, you know, it's just uh, like anything else... People find a way to ruin stuff that's fun and enjoyable, and it's something you like to do, you know? Speaking of which, how's everyone doing out there? (sighs) Holy meltdown. Turn my mic back on! If you want Dave Odd's mic to be turned back on, please write in to... No, fuck it. They have to call. Yeah, call in. 773-478-5023. In fact... Call us about this whole Dave Odd situation because maybe he doesn't believe that everybody on the planet finds what he's doing extremely childish, not funny, and worsening his situation with other people. So call in. Tell Dave what you think of him. And if you want his mic turned down, call in. I want to see the person who wants this. The number again is 773-478-5023. Give us a call, Red Bar Nation. Let me know what you're thinking. It reminds me like when I was in boarding school and like just a, a kid would just snap. You were in boarding school? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Not boarding school like a prep school no. type where they send you. This was the middle of the woods in Maine with more strictness than prison. I believe it. Um, it's a two-week story. It's one of those stories yeah. where you wouldn't believe it unless you were there. I, I, Stuff that I never knew existed happened to me there. Yeah. But anyways, like, people would snap like Dave is doing. Just like people who were normal the entire time. They would snap and go crazy. It's like you drive them to a point. Yeah. And they can't handle it anymore. No, I mean, 
And they just start acting like like crazy. It's the frail nature of the human mind, man. And you know what? I saw a special about this. I guess it's a boarding school. It's more of a reform school. They come into your house with two fucking just mook. That's what happened to me. Big burly guys, and they take you out. I woke up at 4.30 in the morning. Yeah. Two huge guys. They grabbed me, put me in a van. My parents weren't there. They didn't even tell me what was happening. Yeah. Uh, there they, was a they, note in the car from my parents that explained I was going to a boarding school. I had no idea this was happening. Were you having or behavior coming. problems? or I never went to school. My oh, okay. parents basically wanted to send me somewhere so that I would graduate high school before I turned 18. Okay. I was just about 17, so they're like, we got to do something quick. Yeah. So they uh, they did this, and like my parents didn't know much about the school. Like I said, they were in a rush to get me to this place before I was 18. Yeah. They just heard some good things about it. They sent me there. They're thinking, you know, uh, it's only going to be the senior year. I get there. I go, what the fuck is going on? Where am I? Let me call my parents. They say, you're going to be here for two and a half years, whether you like it or not. I go, I turn 18. I'm going to be here after I'm 18. They go, well, you can leave when you're 18, but you're not going to be able to go home, and we're not going to give you any money to leave, and you're in the middle of the woods in Maine, so you could try to leave. Jesus I mean, it would have been a a two-day walk to get to society from where I was. Holy shit, man. So, I mean, imagine being uh, almost 17 and having that happen to you. I can't. You freak out, right? Yeah, that's unbelievable. shut down for a little while. Yeah. Yeah. I'm thinking about having, like, a special show where I just tell the entire story front to back. You should, dude. Because it's fucking crazy. And I've never met anyone who I've started telling the story who didn't want to hear more. I mean, I can't tell you how badly I want to hear more. But if you want to do a whole show, that'd be pretty sweet. I mean, you know, difficult for you, but I mean, I think it would be interesting. Oh, it's not difficult. I have no, I loved oh. it. I would, I would go back in time and do it again because it, it, uh, I can't get really angry. I don't know if you, have you ever seen me angry? Like no. really getting pissed? No. I don't get pissed. You get annoyed and frustrated, but Everyone who does. doesn't? Yeah. But I, I'll never get to the point where I'm like pissed where I have to hit something or hit someone. And that's what I like about, uh, having been there. 